In the last lecture of this section, we will deal with more tire panels. Let's come back to our workbook. So we are still in major electricity. Come to plot more tire panel. You have two vertical. So let's let's just select the first two and then go to plot more tire panel and move to two vertical. So I plot two verticals for us. So one is here, one is here and you can edit them differently, which is a nice thing to do. So once you can edit this one separately and you can choose the other one and also edit it. All the editing that we've done, all the customizing that we've done count to this section. So the next one will be, let's go to plot and more type panel and two horizontal. So the other one was vertical. This is horizontal and that can be done. You can change the scale. No, we can change these so that it doesn't look this way. The next one will be column. Oh wait, sorry. Plot, multi panel, and you can do four panel, nine panel. So it's the same. You just have to select. If you select two, it will leave the others blank. So you just have to make sure you select four of those. The interesting one that I use a lot is stack. So you can come to plot and then more tire panel and then stack. So stack just, you can put in an auto preview and it stacks everything together for you. So you can go ahead and stack it. And you can go in and edit this. So this is one layer, this is one layer, this is one layer. This is always great if you're comparing things this way. And yeah, that is stuck. You can edit this and you know, customize it to look like what we've been doing. And you can also remember, you can save the theme. If you're going to do multiple stacking, you can save the theme. Yeah, you can also have more multiple panels. Just go to auto preview. And there you go. You can have that. So that'll be it for this section, which is more type panel and access is very useful for whatever you want to do. So to end this section, I have a, I'll have an assignment. So I'll go to open and go back to XRD. So let's save this. Okay. So in this XRD, which you already have, but if you don't have it, I'll attach the resource to this lecture So make sure you have it. So what I want you to do is take the data, just take any three columns. I took B, D and F and come in and do this. So just using the previous lecture, you should be able to do this and customize your graph to look this way so that will be the exercise for this section